Hello guys, today let's discuss Azure API management. So guys, when we want to learn a new service, first we should always learn why we have that service and then we should learn what is that service, what are the features of it, etc. So in this video as well, we will first discuss why we have Azure API management, what is the need to have Azure API management and then we will discuss the features of it. See guys, today we have APIs everywhere and let's say we have two APIs related to stocks. And these are get stock detail and get top 30 stock summary. So obviously we will have API creator or API owner. And of course, this API creator or owner itself can consume these APIs. Great. But then we may have external users or our partners who may also consume our APIs, right? So they can also consume our APIs. So everything is going good. And now over the period of time, our APIs they have become immensely popular right and now we want to earn money so basically we want to introduce paid subscription so that people or the consumers they should pay to consume our APIs so we want to have paid subscription so basically we want to introduce this such that First 50 calls per minute, they should be free. And after that, the consumer will need to pay the money, right? And obviously you want to achieve this without making any code changes. Then another scenario, let's say we want to secure our APIs using JWT. Then let's say we want to implement caching to improve the performance of our APIs. So these are just a few examples from API creator or owner perspective. And now let's say as a consumer, the consumer he should be able to find APIs. He should be able to find the documentation of APIs. Then there should be some place or some interface where this consumer he should be able to test our APIs. So for all these requirements, we can use Azure API management. So basically Azure API management consider it as an interface. So let's say this is interface and this is our API management. So this is an interface between consumer and our backend APIs or you can also consider this Azure API management it it acts as a wrapper around our APIs and and this Azure API management provides us all these features. So for example using Azure API management we can implement something called rate limit or quota limit. Then we can secure our APIs using JWT. We can implement caching. Okay. Then this Azure API management, it provides something called developer portal. And this developer portal, it is used by our consumers or partners. And using developer portal, they can find our APIs, they can find the documentation of our APIs, they can test our APIs. Okay. And of course, we can achieve all this without any code changes. And that's the beauty of Azure API management. So that's it guys. Thanks. Thanks for listening.